understood how my grandfather stayed hard. I can't wait to see how this one goes over here. I've been waiting to do this one, because half of you are going to die laughing, and some of you are like, this is a lot, like, this is... I used to think about it a lot, you know, during Yom Kippur, or when we were watching Schindler's List as a family. I would think... Grandpa Irving get hard because he was, this is for all the men in the audience. He couldn't get a fucking word in for 57 years. He was controlled. He was not allowed to speak. He would walk around, somebody, please, please help me. My wife has not let me speak in 57 years. And she was very aggressive. Like, she would walk into a funeral and be like, sorry for your loss. You know what I'm saying? Like, And Viagra wasn't around then. Like, he had nothing. He was in the fucking war without a gun. I mean, I'm serious. And he had to please her. I, I, let me act it out. I think this is how it would go. I feel like my grandmother would just bend over a little bit just to make it difficult for him. Because she made everything difficult for him. And she would just talk and talk and talk and judge him the whole time. Like, Irving, I'm not bending over anymore. Find the hole. Oh, I hate your penis. Don't make a mess. When is the cleaning lady coming? The last time we did this, you got semen all over the floor. I I almost slipped and broke a hip. That's the last thing I need. I have to play cards this week. I still can't feel you inside of me. Are you inside of me? Uh, look, chicken's on sale at the market. I can get two for one chicken. I should have known that the other day. I bought one chicken. I would have gotten two of them. Oh, I hate that shirt you're wearing. It's a horrible shirt. Uh, are you in me? What's happening? You never provided for the children. They never had what they needed. Idiot. Uh, are you in my ass? 